Well, the Falls County Courthouse was finally opened and rededicated to the community community today after spending nearly two years under construction. It was originally built in 1939. Six News reporter Andrew Moore explains just how important this was for the people in that community. Andrew. For some counties in Texas, the county seat or courthouse represents the center of business and the center of justice for that community. The Falls County Courthouse had been in disrepair for years, but now it's fully restored and is restoring faith in the county for some citizens. My goal was to make it the jewel that it is in Falls County. Falls County Judge Jay Elliott hosted senators, representatives, and the Texas First Lady today as the county rededicated its historic courthouse. And while plenty of speakers affirmed its importance, as not just a standard of a landmark, but actually as a center of justice. The true importance would be how it inspired and served regular people walking through the doors. Trudy Porterfield has spent 40 years in Falls County. Her reaction. It felt clean. It felt like, okay, this is the future. Um, Falls County can make it, Marlin can make it. As Porterfield said, the condition of the courthouse sets the pace for the rest of the county. And after being restored by Komatsu Architecture, there was plenty to be proud about. The courthouse features hanging Art Nouveau lighting in the 82nd District Courtroom. Walls restored to the original seafoam green and a carefully cleaned limestone exterior. Also, the building has working AC now. Now we have air conditioning and everything all throughout every, and we don't have <laughs> window units. And while Elliot was happy to see the electrical and technology upgrades, Joy Kunkel says the new courthouse shows officials have pride in their county and in their work. It means something to them, so therefore it means something to the rest of the town, rest of the people. And Porterfield also told us these renovations give her greater confidence in the future. And I want a legacy for my grandbabies mm -hmm. and this is going to help, help know that Falls County can be here for them to come back to. So it's very important. Very mm -hmm. important. The whole project cost around $7 million and state grants covered 85% of that cost thanks to the Texas Historical Commission. Jasmine. All right, thanks Andrew. I know they're happy about that air conditioner.